All right, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for RC Hibbler's Engineering Mechanics Statics Textbook. So we have this problem from chapter four here, which is asking us to determine the moment of the force about point O. We have, so we have this diagram here and we have one force acting 30 uh, degrees to the horizontal at this point here. Now, to start off, I, I reckon a good place to start here would be to decompose force F into its horizontal and vertical components. We can use this idea that I've shown in the top right here to do that. So we could say that the uh, horizontal component here is going to be 300 cos 30, and the vertical component here is going to be 300 sin 30. So we want to take moments about point O here. Now, in order to do that, we're basically going to want the perpendicular distance from point O to this point here where force F is acting. Now, those perpendicular distances in, in the case of the um, vertical component, that distance is gonna look something like this, right? In the case of the horizontal component, that's gonna look something like this length here, essentially. We, let, let's call this horizontal length uh, W and this uh, vertical length L, width and length, you know. Um, the problem doesn't give us those lengths off the bat. What it gives us is this 0.4 meters here, and then it gives us this 0.3 meters with a 45 degree angle with the horizontal. So evidently, we're going to want, uh, let's just remove some of these lines here. In order to determine our perpendicular distances, which we'll need to take moments about 0 0.0 with, we'll want this length, um, which we can then add to 0.4, and we're going to want this length, which we can take as uh, the perp perpendicular distance um, between 0.0 and the horizontal component here. So evidently, this is a very simple kind of triangle problem. Let's actually draw this a little bit nicer. So we have a 45 degree angle here, and we note that this length, this hypotenuse here, is 0.3 meters. And we're interested in this length and this length. We know that these two lengths are going to be the same value since we're working with a 45 degree angle here. So the, the horizontal is going to be the same as the vertical. One way to solve for x here might be to use Pythagoras' theorem. So we note if we're saying um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and, and c is our hypotenuse here, which is 0.3, and A and B are our two other sides, which have both take a value of X. We could say then that 2X squared is equal to 0.3 squared, right? Now we can rearrange for X here, so we can divide both sides by two and square root both sides. So we're gonna say therefore X is equal to 0.3 squared all over two square rooted, right? which when we put in our calculator gives us a value of 0 0.212 meters. Okay, so looks like this length here is 0 0.212 meters. This length here is 0 0.212 meters. This then gives us a basis to start taking moments about 0 0.0, right? So let's go ahead and do that. We can say then that the sum of moments about O acting uh, clockwise here is equal to, well, let's have a look. So let's consider uh, moments that are acting clockwise first. Note, we only want to, we, we've kind of decomposed F into its uh, horizontal and vertical components here. So we can kind of ignore the black arrow here and just consider the blue ones. So the only moment acting clockwise here will be the horizontal component of F, this 300 cost 30. Um, so we can say then that uh, the moment acting clockwise here is going to be uh, this 0.212 uh, meters here times 300 cos 30. Now we want to consider uh, moments acting in the anti-clockwise direction, which we have this 300 sine 30 acting here. Uh, now the length here is going to be 0.612 since we're considering both this 0.212 meters and this 0.4 meters here. So we can say minus, since minus we're taking as the 
negative direction here, we can say minus 0 0.612 times 300 sine 30 here. Okay, whoa. Now we can put this into our calculator and this gives us a value of minus 36 point seven um, newton meters here so we could say um we have 30 let's just separate these things off so we could say we have a 36.7 new meter uh, newton meter moment acting anti clockwise and this is the solution to our problem here so there we have it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about that problem, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.